Today's praise in peril, devotional thought is, use me. Then I heard the Lord asking, whom should I send as a messenger for this people? Who will go for us? I said, here I am, send me. This devotional is based on Isaiah 6 verse 8. I'll be the first to admit I am not a morning person. The different roles I have been assigned over the years have perfected what I refer to as my telephone voice. Suitable even for early mornings. This is the voice a friend of mine got recently when she called at 6.44 a.m. to ask something. She got a rich woke hello, good morning. This would have given me an A for a course in customer service. Though I was essentially fast asleep. Though the call lasted less than a minute, I found I could not go back to dreaming as before. So I did the next best thing and started reading for that morning. I was led to the book of Acts chapter 2. Chapter 2 begins with a scene from a feast on the day of Pentecost, celebrated in the city of Jerusalem. Right there in the upper room where the apostles and other followers of Jesus were. A sudden sound came from heaven, like a mighty rushing wind, and the Holy Spirit, taking the form of tongues of fire, came down on them. Immediately they started speaking in languages they themselves might have never heard or might have never understood. Had they heard, the Holy Spirit had given them utterance. Religious men from every nation under heaven who came for the feast were amazed as each man heard testament of God's mighty work in his own language. Coming from the mouths of those who they thought to be simple Galileans. Priests in their ignorance and unwillingness to acknowledge God's miraculous power put it down to drunkenness. But the deaf could have heard and the blind would have seen that this manifestation was straight from heaven's throne room. Peter himself confirmed it with a reminder of Joel's prophecy, which was now being fulfilled. God's spirit was being poured out on all flesh. From this one experience, about 3,000 received the word and were baptized. For the apostles, they did countless signs and wonders. That day, the former rain was poured out. Great as it was, we know the latter rain will be greater. But are we ready to receive it? Have we put ourselves in a position to do so? As we near the close of Earth's history, have we really been utilizing the enabling power of the former rain to go and reach the world before the time comes? And we are asked to bear witness to the Lord cry. Christ may not use a 6.44 a.m. call. If we're being honest, anyways, 3 a.m. is where it's at. But when he calls, as undoubtedly he will, when he asks for one to trod dusty roads, climb steep mountains, stand in thorny valleys, and declare the gospel amidst abuse. Are you ready to answer in your best telephone voice? With not a hint of sleep? Here am I. Lord, send me, for I will go. This was your Praise in Peril devotional thought, written by Crystal Dennis from the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Stewart Mountain. And I am Christian Witter.